Well, start by configuring internationalized routing in Next.js. Open your Next config JS file and add the i18n object within the module exports. Here, we define our supported locales which include English, French, and Spanish, represented by their respective language codes N, FR, and S. We also set English as the default locale and disable automatic locale detection, so that users will not be automatically redirected to different language versions based on their browser settings or IP address. Next, we implement the rewrites method to customize how certain URLs will be handled. Here, we have an example of a rewrite rule for an about page specifically for French-speaking users. We say that when someone visits about, it should internally route to fr about without changing the URL in the browser. We also set the locale property to false to ensure that Next.js doesn't prepend the locale automatically as we're already specifying it in the destination path. Now let's move on to the code within our application. In the custom underscore app.js file, we start by importing the use router hook from next router. This hook is essential for accessing routing functionalities within our next.js application. Inside our main application component named myapp, we use the use router hook to obtain access to the router object, which provides us with various properties and methods related to routing in our application. We define a function called change language that will allow users to switch between languages. It accepts a lang parameter representing the language code. First, we construct a regular expression that matches the current locale in the URL. We then call router push to navigate to the same path but with a different locale, effectively replacing the current language prefix in the URL with the new language code. To put our change language function to use, here's an example of a button component. When a user clicks on this button, the change language function is invoked with fr, which switches the application to the French version. You can place similar buttons for other supported languages such as English and Spanish. Finally, our myapp component returns the current page component passed to it, along with any props. This setup allows for the entire application to be aware of the internationalized routing structure we've put in place. And don't forget to export the myapp component to make it available for use in your next JS app. With this setup, you now have a robust system for managing localized routes in your application with i18n support.